Hello piggy people. So today's video I wanted to give you an update on Reese and Butter Pecan. If you didn't see our one video, both the girls had went to the vet for different reasons. So I'll start off with Butter Pecan who's over here having some water. So Pecan's problem was I noticed her front incisors were on a slant. So my vet classed it as a slight slant, but it was a slant. Like you could definitely see it and I noticed it right away when I was giving her medication one night. It just did not look normal at all. Obviously slanting incisors is not the way they are supposed to look. So for her to have anything done would require a dental where she would have to be put under to get it finished. So I wasn't really too excited about that. But in the meantime, we decided to try some things here. So. The first thing was putting in more chew toys, which was a suggestion of Valerie, which was a great suggestion. So I added in more wood logs, fresh ones, uh, some of the Timothy tunnels and s like s little grass mats and stuff like that for her to chew. And for guinea pigs, in my personal experience, things are exciting for a couple days and then after that they're, you know, not chewing on them a whole ton, but they still do every once in a while. And then the other thing I was doing is giving her hay. Everywhere she was, I gave her hay. So anytime I came down here, whatever bed or tunnel she was in, I plopped some fresh orchard grass hay down in front of her and she would always eat it. So Pecan is a senior, so when she's in a bed, she stays there for quite a while. So I was just bringing hay to her. So she was eating a lot more hay. And the other thing was, here's our little Sherwood recovery food. I stopped giving her so much of that so I just am back to giving it to her with her meds in the morning and night. She had that night where she was found upside down in the morning so I had started hand feeding her a bunch from that incident and I thought okay maybe I got too carried away and that's what caused her teeth to go off from hand feeding her too much and not having her eat as much hay or maybe her being upside down made her jaw a bit sore and she was not chewing it on it properly I don't know but it's been almost two weeks it'll be two weeks and about two or three days since the time I noticed her teeth were slanted and I am pleased to say that her teeth look normal to me now so which is a pretty big deal because like the slant I could notice it right away as soon as I was looking at her with her mouth open a bit I could see it very noticeable to me and now I've been checking her teeth, like opening her mouth, taking a look at the incisors, and they look perfectly straight across instead of slanted. So that is a true testament to why hay is so important for pigs. Their teeth are continuously growing, and in less than two weeks, her teeth completely changed. So if somebody were to run out of hay for their pigs for... I'd say more than a couple days, like you could have real issues with their teeth, not to mention their tummies, because their teeth are forever growing and man, they can change quick. So that's really positive. I'm going to not cancel her appointment that has to do with her teeth, just in case something changes. I'm just going to watch it for another week to make sure things stay the same. And then I will cancel her appointment that's to do with her teeth being looked at. So that's positive. I'm really excited. It's just wild to see the change. Um, and the other thing is for Reese, Reese is in the back corner just past Velvet there. Uh, her urine scald has completely healed. No more wet bum, no more signs of UTI. Her medications finished soon. She was on antibiotics and she did have a bit of uh, Medicam for the start there, but she's doing great. Uh, we've got into a routine of the pellets get taken away at night and are just out during the day. Everybody seems fine with that. So that stops her from just absolutely pigging out on pellets all through the night. Instead, she can eat as much hay as she wants. Because uh, Reese was the one who is very pudgy for her size and her body type. So that's a good compromise, like she still has endless amounts of hay, she still gets her veggies and the pellets that we have are concentrated so they actually don't need to eat more than, I think it's a tablespoon or less per pig to get 
all the vitamin C and other minerals and vitamins that they need for the day. So it's a very small amount. And I can tell you right now, Reese was eating probably enough for all the pigs. So yeah, anyway, we were just to uh, keep an eye on her weight because her weight can cause her some health issues and we're probably a contributing factor to who are getting a UTI in the urine scald with too much fat down in her abdomen. So anyway, that's that. Um, I did mention in our last video that I thought Apple was passing a stone. I think maybe she's passed it because she's not so sensitive the last couple nights. It's so crappy. I just hate her having any trouble. But thankfully she's on two pain meds, so it's definitely way better than it was back when we were first having issues and she was only on Medicam because she's on Tramadol and Medicam now. So I think everything works really well to keep her more comfortable because the only times I could tell she was uncomfortable was when I was tidying her bum and touching her down there to put her cream on. So otherwise she was acting fine. It's just when I was touching her down there that she acted like, oh, it was so sore. I felt really bad for her. But she seems to be acting normal again, so that's good. Everybody got cleaned out, so we're nice and tidy. I was kind of disappointed for the skinny pig sisters here. Their hay box started having some mold on the bottom from it getting wet all the time. So these two girls, honest to goodness, pee probably more than all six pigs of the herd. So they pee and poop more than six furry pigs. And where they pee the most is on their mat where their hay box usually was sitting. So I've tried all different kind of positions for the hay box. Lots of extra pads put in front of it and all of that and it's still just the pads there get soaked. Like I have to change their pad where their hay is every single morning and night. That's how much they pee on it. The rest of their cage is pretty good, it's just where they're eating and drinking is just pee, 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 pee. So unfortunately the hay box is wood so I really don't see how I can save it because once it starts to get mold I don't think I could get rid of it all. I'm going to try wiping it off with bleach in hopes that it's not too far into the wood and we'll see how it goes. Otherwise I'm just going to have to stick with hay piles for them. They're just, uh, they're troublemakers, these two. Aren't you girls? But they do pretty good with the hay pile. They're not big wasters of hay because they eat so much. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll have to buy something that kind of attaches up a little bit off the floor. We'll see. And then this is Angus and Autumn. Where's Autumn? Hi, baby. Well, there's Angus and the little snuggle sack there. I think Autumn wants to go in. Are you purring, Autumn? You doing rumbling? Oh, she might be in heat. You got your sassy pants on. So everybody is else is doing well. Um, yeah. So I think those are pretty good updates. I feel happy with how Reese is doing. And I feel so happy with how Pecan is doing because if she doesn't need to be put out for a dental at basically seven years old, I am just absolutely thrilled. Hi, how are you? You're so beautiful. Cutest little face. What? What do you need? What do you need? You're so cute. Look at those little gremlin toes. She's got some crazy curly nails. She has always had really hard nails to clip. She has some that curl like right under that are just twisty. Anybody else have pigs like that where you sit there trying to line up a cut for their nail because they're so curly and it takes you forever? And sometimes you'll have like it perfectly lined up and then they flinch and move and then you're like, oh, now we have to reset and she can be very difficult to clip her nails sometimes. She usually holds really still. It's just some of those nails takes me forever to decide that it's safe to do a cut because I would never want to cut their toe or their foot pad. Look at the little beer bum. You're so cute, Apple. 
Okay, guys. Well, speaking of the pellet monster, do you see that little blob of pudding? Reese Bear. Relaxation. Can you guys see Hucky? He's on the couch and Ray's back in that corner. Oh, and Pecan's gone into that tunnel. And then there's Miss Velvy, little fluffy bum. She always gets her bum trimmed now. I like it so much better. Even though it's not as cute without her long tail feathers, it's so much cleaner and tidier for her to have it all trimmed up. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!